All right, guys, welcome back to another video of My Life Films. Today, I'm out here. I got a nice air rifle. Um, this is actually my brother's. I have one just, well, pretty similar to this. Um, mine shoots 177. This is a 22 caliber. Um, the reason I'm not using mine is because the sights are broken. I'm going to have that fixed and probably, I don't know, maybe put a scope on too. But we're just going to be using this one for today, hoping to go plink a rabbit. If there's a squirrel, I'll probably take that one as well. But I'm hoping to get a rabbit. I haven't gotten one this year, I don't think, so far. So hoping to walk around, jump one up real quick and get a shot at it. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this. If you guys want to see different types of videos. And whatever kind of video you want to see, comment down below so I can make sure to do that. And it really helps when you guys comment down below. So make sure to do that. Subscribe so you guys don't miss out on these videos. Make sure to click the notification bell to make sure you get all notifications. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to get right into it. And let's go see if we can get a rabbit. All right, so what we got here, it's a 22 caliber air rifle. You can get these at Walmart. Pretty good price as long as your Walmart in your area sells them because Walmart's kind of holding back on their guns, especially air rifles. So I'm just using 22 caliber with a speed loader. Um, just figured I'd use it today. I rarely ever use a speed loader, but for now it's gonna be nice, especially with Rabbit, in case I have to quickly reload in case another one pops out. But yeah, it's super simple to reload. Just clip and we're ready. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna walk right through stuff like this. As you guys can tell, I don't know why that rabbit felt big. You got rabbits uh, burned that, but you can see all these tracks right here. This is all rabbit. So we're gonna walk through here. You can see all these rabbit tracks. Um, let's see if we can scare one up real quick. Right here is where you wanna find, because I've seen a bunch of rabbits in here. This stuff probably wouldn't have anything in it this time of day is because I'm always back here and they're never in there. So we're gonna walk through and see if we can't spook one up. See if we can't jump one out of this thick stuff. So you guys can see, hopefully, all these rabbit tracks in here. Deer beds. This is just rabbit hot spots. Dude, I hit him once, he kicked. There he goes. Yes, he's dead. Whew. Gonna finish reloading real quick. Grab him and see if we can't find another one. He is right here, boys. Drop the gun up right there. Grab him. He is big, boys. He is a big rabbit. That is crazy. I see what happened. So, shot him right where that fluff is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, angled up through his chest. I don't want to feel that too much blood, but there he is, guys. He is a long rabbit. Gonna be some good eating. I'm so pumped right now. First, I think actually first rabbit, now that I think about it. First ever rabbit with an airsoft, not an airsoft gun, I think that, that would be really bad to, shoot an animal with an airsoft gun. First ever rabbit with a pellet gun. I think I got a squirrel, now I think about it more. But that's awesome. So we're gonna set him on the trail for when we walk out, but we're gonna take the trail down, see if we can't find another one. 
female. Big old mama. If you're hunting a spot that has like little pine trees or little fern trees, make sure to keep your eyes open for those. Those are a very, very good hiding spot for rabbits. Rabbits especially love those. That's probably where they're gonna run to the fast because they have the most cover in there. So that's just a little tip for the day. Oh, here, rabbit. Right there. Oh, dang it. We just saw a rabbit. Just saw one run across. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we have the rabbit right here. Really big one. I mean, like, I don't even know. This is probably the biggest rabbit I've got. I know rabbits don't get too big, but this is a really nice one. Um, guy with a nice air rifle. I'm gonna set that down right there. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. How to clean them if you haven't. If you guys have like a weak stomach or anything, make sure to skip this part. Um, just a warning, I don't wanna show people gutting a rabbit if they don't want to see it so just skip to the point where I have just right here so you guys don't have to see any of this so we're gonna start to skin this thing real quick so what we're gonna do we're gonna clean it up a little bit so the thing is their skin is very loose but they also have very loose hair so you gotta be careful with getting hair everywhere so right just so easy Pop the legs through. This is the gross part. I've never done this before, but they say you can just, and there goes the head. It's kind of morbid, it's a little gross. Not gonna lie, but just get all that hair off, especially this part. Another gross part, snap the leg. All right, so now we got the whole body pretty well cleaned up. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take the knife, be very careful, I'm gonna tilt it this way so you guys don't have to see a lot of blood. So then you just go up from the belly, like the chest part. Make sure not to cut any um, internal organs or anything like that. And then just cut it all the way up to the butt part. And then what you're going to want to do is just take your hand in and then just drag everything down from there. Now what we're left with is a nice, clean rabbit in there. We're gonna obviously rinse this blood off right here. There's the rabbit. I'm gonna go inside, clean it all off, get as much hair as possible off, and then I'm just gonna clean it up nice and clean. And then yeah, probably see you in a day or two when we're cooking up, so stay tuned. All right guys, so it is a couple days later. As you can see, there's a lot of silver skin on it, which I do not like on any meat whatsoever. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this fish flay knife real quick, and then I'm gonna flay this off, so let's get right to it. So what we're left with is this nice, decently clean meat. I ended up just chopping off all the meat off of like the back leg. It actually came off with a bunch of meat right here. So we got, well not that one. We got all this right here. Um, I'm gonna have to clean the rest of it off right after this. But for now, this will work. What we got next is some eggs. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open these up. Probably need, only need like two of them because the meat is already pretty decently sticky. So we're just gonna crack them open real quick and then we're gonna mix them up. Well, I realized I accidentally cracked three eggs, which is too much. I guess it's fine. So what we're gonna do is mix this up real quick. We're gonna take the meat, drop it in, then put it in the flour, and then put it on here. Let it sit for a bit, and then turn on the hot oil, and then do the rest of it, so stay tuned.
what we got here. You can see my hands are like six times dunked, so they got all this off, so I'm gonna have to wash that off. Got them double dunked, they do not look the prettiest, but it'll do. We're gonna wash this all up and then get them on the oil. Okay, so then we're gonna start this up real quick, get the pan on, and I don't know if we have vegetable oil. So there, I mean, that's not a whole lot, but it'll do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that sit for a little bit, let it heat up, and then when it gets hot enough, we'll get back to you guys, so stay tuned. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test it real quick, see? Oh yeah, that's plenty hot. So what we got here, we're gonna start off with some bag straps, but that's hot. All right guys, so I figured this would be the time to let you guys know that I can make a video off of making like the recipe for like specific meats that I do. Like so there's venison, there's hamburger, there's squirrel, rabbit, like what we're doing right now. Um, they're all really, really good. Some of them my family just make and I've just learned but some I kind of made up. So if you guys want to see recipes for like wild game type meat, I can make sure to make a video off of that, but I won't make it unless you guys want to see it. So comment down below if you'd like to see that. But in the meantime, we're gonna let this cook real quick and then catch you guys when it's done. Here it is. Yeah, that's cooked through for sure. This is like the darker part of the meat. So we're gonna find like the lighter it's not like super white, but oh, that one's definitely whiter. This is this backdrop. This one might have actually been part of the leg. That's probably why. The nice thing about rabbit, super tender. So yeah, there. So that one's actually got a little bit dark meat, but it's not blood or anything. It's just rabbit can be a little dark at times. Here it goes. Got the dipping sauce. That's not bad. I think it like really needs the sauce though because it is a little bland. I didn't put enough seasoning in, I'm guessing. But yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna have to cook the rest up, but um, let's try this part. It's got like the more crispy nugget type stuff. Yeah, that's actually really good. Super, super, super tender. I'm gonna get some water because that little bit of my throat. Yes, this is actually super good. I really don't know what to compare it to. It doesn't taste anything like a squirrel. It doesn't even taste like chicken. A lot of people say rabbit tastes like chicken. It doesn't. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. If you guys want to see me cook rabbit in different ways, I'll make sure to do that. I've got plenty of other ways to cook rabbit. I might go out and do some squirrel hunting, might go with some fishing. There's a pond I just got permission to fish on. Um, you guys can go check it out on the link to the below. Small Town Hunters, but I'll make sure to do some of the fishing on this channel as well. But. That is it for today's video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't thank you enough. And until next time, keep on living.